Hello, I'm Puffy Bunnies, and I'm here to show you how to set up your very own Centrea Community Gecko. Woo! Let's get into it. Woo, 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 woo! Okay, so one of the first steps that I would recommend is coming to your desktop and making a folder, a new folder, and I'm going to call mine Zen Gecko. After you've made that folder, just follow the link to the Google Doc. Okay, so once you have put the folder on your desktop, the Zen Gecko folder, what you're going to want to do is get this whole Chad mascot folder and download it into that folder. Get to the Zen Gecko folder, open it, then right click. Go to WinRAR or whatever you have for unzipping and extract here. Now this is the folder that's going to be the gecko for VTube Studio. Now we're in VTube Studio. So you want to make sure that you have your folder with the Chad mascot that you unzipped already ready to go and minimize that. Double click on your screen. You're going to see all these buttons appear over here. Go to the top and change your VTuber model. Click on that button, then come to import your own model. Click on that. You'll have a pop up over here and it will say open folder. Click on the open folder button. Here you'll have a bunch of folders. I have more because I put a bunch in here already. Um, it will be under live 2D models. Then just make sure you have your Zen Gecko folder. You're going to drag and drop your Chad mascot into the pile of folders over there. Just make sure you're not doing the zip that you're actually grabbing the unzipped one. So drag and drop it in that pile. I'm not going to do it because I've already done it. You'll see it right here. Chad mascot. Then you can X out. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to press the blue OK button. And then back up here to change your VTuber model. Come to your filter and type in Zen. There you go. There's your Chad mascot. Click on it. And here we are. Okay. So now we're in V2 Studio and we have our model on. And now we can do some adjustments to it to make it even more responsive to us. Also, we can see all the cool things inside. Let's go. One of the first things you're going to want to do when you first start setting up your model is you're going to want to go to your webcam settings and you're going to want to calibrate. I would calibrate with your mouth closed and a neutral face looking forward until you see like a check mark and then make smile faces and look left, right, up, down, and then move your head side to side. Then the next thing I would do is I would come in, let me see. I would go to this next one, the model settings, activate the movement config. Now this is going to be your, you know, it's going to be helping you move a lot more, get a little more movement out of your character. Let me see here. Um, I think my favorite is somewhere in here, but everybody has their own preferences. Okay, next, I, I set my physics at, let me see, 30 frames. Bop, 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 bop. And all of this is personal preferences, okay. Once you have your gecko loaded up and you've tested your webcam, um, then you come over here to your hotkeys and expressions button. It is the clapper thing next to the person icon at the top. Um, what you're going to do is once you click on that and it's going to show you all this hotkey information, um, these are all like triggered things so like alt plus one 
Okay. Alt plus two. There's a blushy. Alt plus three. Some buck teeth. And then alt plus four. You got Chester. And then you can just see, you can just go through all of them, test every single one. It, ch it changes up once it gets down here a little lower. We got letters. We got all plus letters. So you'll be like alt plus E is a tail off. Oh, my tail's off. Oh no. <laughs> Let's see. There my tail's back. Okay. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna keep going through these. Look, oof, bald. Alt plus A. Uh oh, where'd my hair go? <laughs> um so there's just a whole lot of fun triggers in here. You can try them all out. Um when you're streaming, you'll or whatever, if you're streaming, you'll have to remember these triggers. Okay? If you don't remember them, there's some other things you can do. You can change the key itself which could be confusing right now since you're new to this program. Um, another thing you can do is you can add gestures. So like maybe you want to do a peace hand on your left. Okay. So every time for the banana, um, it will still have this trigger here for it. But if you do a piece with your left hand, you are in the banana. So there you go. And then if you want to take the banana off, you have to put your hand back up in a peace gesture. And there you go. Banana comes off. So that's a way to go about it. If you would like, you don't have to use all the triggers. Maybe you'll just set it up to have a few triggers that just work for what you want to do. But anyways, have fun with it. And I'm, I'm puffy bunnies in gecko form. And I will see you guys later. Don't forget to hit the notification button and subscribe. Please check me out on Twitch. Later. Oh, I just wanted to give a general reminder. Um, If you're going to be streaming with a gecko, you need to get Spout 2. So you need to watch a video on how to install Spout 2 and link it with your VTube Studio. It's not too difficult. But there's plenty of videos on it, so please watch one of those videos, set up your spout too, and get going. I'll see you geckos later. Woo!